Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a first impressions to do for you. This is one of the knives that was loaned to me by my buddy, YD Knives. He will be linked down below, his Instagram that is, so check him out. Um, this is the Spyderco McB. The other day I did first impressions on each of the other knives that he sent me, but this one was so small it slipped through the cracks. No, I actually just kind of ran out of time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is an interesting little Spyderco. And I, it's funny, I've almost gotten one a couple of times. Um, in fact, I had one in my cart on River's Edge Cutlery, I think it was like a month or two ago. And uh, they do analyzation over there, you can add it to the knife. And I was gonna get it, I think in bronze. And I was really close to doing it, but I just, I thought maybe it would be too small in reality. <laughs> I like carrying a secondary knife and I've got a video um, on my secondary knives at the time that I filmed it. I've probably got some more now that would fit in that category, but I like the idea of having a small secondary knife for a couple of reasons. Um, a, it can be kind of unintimidating if you're around people, um, like I've got a, a young child, so if it's her and her cousins or friends or it's a bunch of little kids around, then I gotta open just like a toy real quick, something like that. It's nice to have something unintimidating to pull out. Um, also, they're just very comfortable to carry as a secondary knife, and then also they're just kind of fun, and it gives me an excuse to have two knives on me instead of one. Um, carrying two like full-size like primary knives doesn't make as much sense to me, it seems a little redundant, but having a variety in size um, can be nice. So, anyway, this is definitely the smallest knife I've ever actually carried, for sure. <laughs> There's, it's just, it is so ridiculously tiny. Um, in fact, many of my current secondary knives are as big closed as this is open. It's just, it is a tiny little bugger. Um, so this one is designed by McNeese Knives. I think his name is Jared McNeese. I follow him on Instagram, I should know. Anyway, he's a pretty cool knife maker. He's been working on some pretty exciting stuff lately too. But uh, this is his collaboration with Spyderco, obviously. So it's... If, a titanium frame lock with CTS XHP steel, which I like. It's got a hole for deployment, obviously, being a spider co. And it's got a, a smaller than normal little spider co spoon clip on it, although the clip still looks gigantic on this tiny little scale. And it's just this tiny little baby knife. When I showed it to my wife and daughter, they both loved it. They thought it was hilarious that there's a knife this small that exists. So. It's interesting because my experience is carrying it so far. I think I've had it in pocket two days now. It's been more usable than I thought it would be when I first pulled it out of the box, but it's certainly, it, you notice its size. It is a tiny little thing. So for things like opening a package, it's been great. You're just cutting some tape real quick and you don't need, all you need is this much edge to cut through tape. Like, this is more edge than you need for something like that, but like processing the cardboard itself, like cutting cardboard into smaller pieces to go in the trash bin or whatever it is, it's a little on the small side. What I will say though is for how small it is, the blade is gonna be as usable as it is with this much cutting edge. Like that's just, <laughs> that's the reality, right? But what's astounding to me is how comfortable it is in hand because I would not have guessed that this knife with only two finger grip on it would feel <laughs> this not only like comfortable in hand because it, it feels pretty okay in hand but it also it feels like I feel pretty confident that it's not going anywhere it feels pretty locked in and I think that's just the way that my two fingers fit just right in this nice curve there's a little bit of a guard here so you've just kind of got this nice little slot to set your two fingers in and then it slopes here enough that my the finger behind that's not fitting on the knife just kind of rests against the butt of the knife there and it's not uncomfortable and it like it's tiny it's certainly not like having a full three or four finger grip on a knife you've got two fingers on this but for being two fingers only it fits way better than I thought it would and then on top of that the way that this um, the, the spine has this cut in it it gives me the perfect spot to put my thumb. It's actually a very well thought out blade shape for being this tiny. And then that puts the tip like right under 
the tip of my thumb. So like pressing into material with it, it whether it's tape on a box or whatever, it's actually like, it's, it, the ergos make it way more effective than just being a tiny knife this size. It's less gimmicky than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, it's, it's been interesting for me to say the least, but design wise, I think it looks pretty cool. It's obviously pretty different, but there's these little details on it. Like if you can see there in the lock bar where you press against to open the knife, it's got this cool texture on it. It's kind of the same texture that they put on the pivot. It's like dimpled in a pretty cool way. And then you've got more of that on the pivot screw on this side and then in the lock bar cut right there. So it's like the titanium is finished well. It's got these extra little touches. It's obviously got the, the four speed holes on this side. So that's cutting the weight way down. No, I mean, it, I think those are just just for looks if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, it's got a little tiny lanyard hole that's out of the way. so. It doesn't bother me. I can assume on a knife like this, there's a lot of people who actually are running lanyards on it. And if there's a knife that I can kind of respect that on, it's a knife this tiny. Because the idea of a lanyard oftentimes for people is to give you more grip on the end of the knife. So if you have a little lanyard on here, I could see you getting those extra two fingers, having something to get a little more leverage on. I still don't want a lanyard. Like if this was my knife and I was keeping it and I'd throw it in pocket now and then, still wouldn't want a lanyard. I just don't ever like them, but I understand it a little better on a knife that's this tiny. Um, but yeah, the titanium is finished really well. We've got a couple of little tiny barrel spacers back here that are acting as the, the standoffs for the scales. Um, the action, uh, it doesn't really have one in my opinion, just cause it's so tiny. Like every time that I try to middle finger flick this guy, I end up like nicking one of my fingers because it's so short that it like, yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't really work for me. Maybe somebody else has it down. I don't know. I tend to be really good at middle finger flicking knives. I have a decent amount of dexterity with knives overall. And for this one, I find myself the most reliable way I can find to deploy it is literally just to thumb roll it out because otherwise it feels kind of sketchy with how tiny it is. You just don't have like the places to hold on to it or the access because it's so small. Um, so yeah, I either thumb roll it out or sometimes I'll even just use both hands and that's the way it goes for me. But it's a, uh, it's not drop shutty. <laughs> There's no weight up here and it's on washers. And so it just, it, it's got resistance the whole way. It's like a Sabenza. You Sabenza guys will love this. It's like a better Sabenza. I'm sure you guys love that I just said that. Anyway, it's a, it's a hydraulic action. It's glassy, it's smooth the whole way, but there's resistance the whole way. It's not, it's not free flying <laughs> between open and closed. Um, the detent is, it feels like a pretty normal detent to me from Spyderco. Um, this one's a Taichung Framelock Spyderco, so it feels, the detent and, it, it, I think it honestly feels a lot like the action on like the Spyderco uh, Drunken, if you've ever played with one of those. The detent feels similar to me. The way it rides on these washers feels really similar to me. It's just tiny. So you're feeling it in a different way because you're playing with different dimensions, but the actual sensation of the movement and that, that getting past the detent and it sucking back in to the detent, it feels about the same to me as another Taichung Spyderco, so that makes sense. Anyways, what else is there to say about this? I mean, I guess I can talk carry. <laughs> it carries really tiny. Um, I've been just tucking it into my back pocket. I Like back left pocket is where I've been carrying a secondary most days lately. And uh, I mean, you kind of forget that it's there because it's just, it's like the size of a coin. It's a tiny little knife. And so it sits there fine. The retention with this clip is good. The clip is as big as the entire knife. <laughs> so it's holding it in there just right. Um, it's not that difficult to get in and out of pocket. Functionally, it, it works fine in and out of pocket. And it's so tiny that inherently it's very light and it's not very thick. So the profile of it isn't bothersome. It's just, it's a tiny knife. So 
I guess those are my first impressions of the McB. How could they not be? My first impressions are that this tiny knife is tiny. <laughs> Everything about it is tiny. Tiny cutting edge, tiny action, <laughs> tiny in pocket, tiny ergos. I mean, overall, I will say it, I'm more impressed than I am let down. I didn't necessarily have like high hopes for this knife. I wasn't like, wow, I'm assuming that it's going to be fantastic because I knew it was a tiny little sucker. But yeah, I feel like I came into this one pretty neutrally. And so far with my experience with it, I'm like a tick above neutral. Like I dig it. It's kind of cool, kind of fun, kind of different. I, I don't see it as the most useful thing around. I don't, I don't see myself at the end of this feeling like I have to have one. I just, with other secondary knives that also carry well, I feel like I get more cutting edge, more grip, but still small enough that they're justifiable as a secondary knife for me. And this is just so small that it's like, it can only do so much. Anyway, we'll see by the end of the uh, week or so with it, if that changes and I think it's revolutionary and everyone needs to add one of these to, the, to their carry, I will let you know. But for now, those are my first impressions of the Spyderco McBee.